Henshaw's is a college for young people aged 16 to 25 who have an additional uh, support need, such as a learning disability, maybe a physical impairment or a sensory impairment. and craft sent to thank you. Is that why you're going for your work experience? Oh. Okay. I've signed you out, mate. See you later, mate. This is my second year at Henshaw's College. Tom is a young man whose main interest is in the hospitality area and at the moment he's participating in a sandwich enterprise and also working up at Henshaw's Arts and Crafts for one day up in the cafe there. I like showing new people and helping them. Catering always has been my passion. I teach Tom for mobility. We'll be looking at the tactile paving area, which is an area where we can use it as a training facility for the students before they go off and look at the tactile paving off campus. Going down Ramsall stairs. Well done, very good Tom. In his mobility sessions we usually aim to go off campus but we practice in a quiet area first. He's actually learning the route to the local bus stop so that he can travel up to the Arts and Crafts Centre independently and again he's doing very well on that. Since I've been at Henshaw's I've got more confident in myself. So the session with myself with Victoria's in the pool. I spoke with mum because uh, the first session unfortunately she didn't come into the water and she's got a long-standing fear of water. Um, so far parents have been able to get just feet into the water on holiday, not as far as they've been able to achieve. Four sessions in and she swam with me in the last session. She did fantastic and I know that she mentioned it to a few members of staff following it, so I think she's got a real sense of achievement and rightly so. I know some of my old friends here from my other school, but I've also made some new friends along the way. Me and Jess actually live in the same house. She's upstairs and I'm downstairs. Mm -hmm. Things that I love to do at college is the lessons with their fun. The New Media and IC Centre has a work centre for the students full of our printing equipment where the students take part in work experiences to print canvases, posters, business cards, letterheads. And we now have the facilities to do t-shirts and mugs as well. It's a very valuable, meaningful work experience for the students where they can engage physically with the activities. Um, we have two recording studios, and as far as I'm aware, we're the only specialist college with recording studios. In there, the students are able to make podcasts, any sort of recording, any music they want. And we also have a brand new IT suite, which is full of all the accessible equipment. We have electric rice and full desks. The students have autonomy to control their own workstation. The monitors are mounted on a, a bracket whereby the students can then grab that and pull it to where they need to be. Everything's touch screen and we have all the variety of switches and accessible keyboards to suit each of our individual student needs. This is my first year at college. Enjoy CT, Clinic, and on the computers. Uh, Mike is an essential wheelchair user. As part of his physio sessions, he's asked to go into a stand there. Um, our physiotherapist has noticed that our desks are now go really, really high, they're electric rise and fall. And so Mike doesn't have to leave his IT sessions. He can come in here. We've got plenty of space in the new media and IT centre to transfer Mike into his stand. There. He can then go up to the desk, he can operate at a standing height, and he's now taking into account both his physio needs and his assistive technology needs all at the same time, so he's engaged in the group activities. Alex is one of our day students. She has been at college now for three years and over her time here the main thing we've been working on is Alex's communication. Because of her disabilities she really needs a lot of support with her communication and over the three years Alex has become far more independent. Does Alex like college? Yeah. You like college, how does it make you feel? Happy. Happy, excellent, very good. Today, Alex goes... Swimming. Swimming. And what do you think of swimming? Laughing. You like splashing? 
And when Alex is at college, yeah. Alex needs to work very hard. Very hard. Excellent. We've got a fantastic therapy team who will develop, design and deliver bespoke treatments to uh, students who attend the college. We also offer a low vision service, a rail and moon service. We will develop the, the right programs and training to meet their needs. Therapies that, that we currently offer here at, at college are physiotherapy, which includes land-based treatments, hydrotherapy treatments, which is one of our exciting new developments. We've got a speech and language therapy team that again develops individualised treatments and develop programmes for, for all students. Our occupational therapy team again assess the needs of the students and what's particularly good and beneficial about their programmes. They deliver their treatments in contextual environments. So if for example a student's learning dressing skills, they will do that in the residence first thing in the morning. These bespoke therapy programmes really enrich student lives. They can do all sorts of things, um, cleaning the fridge out, doing the washing up, um, basically the sorts of things that you have to do at home when you run your own place, if you've got your own flat. The whole of the building and the environment has been designed with educational training and development in mind so we can teach the students the skills here in this very safe, controlled area and then help them develop greater skills and confidence and transfer them into the community. So it's an essential stepping stone on their journey towards independence. It's very hard to say in a few words but the change and impact is absolutely tremendous.